uh, Bonnie's women's soccer coach Steve Bernarski as the Bonnie's get ready to leave for the Atlantic 10 tournament. And first of all, congratulations, coach, on the, the program making it to the A10 tournament for the sixth consecutive season. What does it mean for you in your first year uh, and for the women in the program to continue that streak of postseason? You know, it's a it's it's a big deal to to our players um, because they know about the great tradition of this program. You know, we always play. Uh, you know, for the team and, and, and for our classmates and, and the university. But uh, I think the bigger thing is once you become a Bonnie, you kind of understand a little bit about the tradition of this school and the tradition of the alumni. And so um, you want to play for them, you know. And, uh, you know, five years in a row, you know, I, you know we're the only team besides Dayton uh, that continues that streak, and now we just did it a, a sixth time, you know. Um, so there was a lot of pressure. Maybe that was, you know, you can maybe go back to some of the games. I think sometimes that pressure... Uh, kind of weighs down on you but uh, the girls uh, I think answer the call and we've we've continued that tradition but I also think that this group knows that it's not just about continuing that that tradition we want to we want to make uh, you know our, our own waves and, and continue in terms of, of trying to win the the a10 um, and that starts with with winning that first game the first game comes against George Mason a newcomer to the Atlantic 10 this year you have not faced each other yet this will be the first time when you square off on Thursday night in the quarterfinals uh, what do you know about George Mason, and what do you think will be some of the keys to uh, success against Mason? Well, you know, like for, for me personally, uh, you know, coming from Virginia, where, where I spent nine years, know a lot about the school, the staff, um, have had opportunities where we're gone up against uh, George Mason. So, you know, they're a good program. Every year, they uh, they continue to be fighters, um, and I think that they showed that today, or showed it this year in terms of the season. Um, I also think it's just it's, it's interesting the fact that the two of us have the same record, you know. So it's nice to be able to know that you know there's not much difference between them and us um, come come the game on Thursday. But uh, they're going to be ready just as much as we are. They have something to prove, uh, being the the new team in the conference. Um, we, we have something to prove, you know, to ourselves in just terms of of uh, what our goals are and what we want to achieve. Um, I think it's going to be two two interesting styles. Like I think they're different than than we are and. Um, you know, we're going to make sure that you know we continue to be the best team that we can be. You know, building on some of the achievements that we achieved in October um, to be a better team in November. But uh, they're going to come out. They're going to be be a strong team, a physical team. I think they'll they'll come out with uh, with, with some good athleticism, um, and and they'll try to play soccer. And uh, I think we'll counter that with with what we've been doing this last month. You know, in terms of number one work ethic being you know at the center of what we do, uh, making sure that we're defending first and foremost. Um, and then from there, you know, being able to play the soccer that we've we've seen, you know, uh, you know, at home this year in terms of scoring some great goals and, and, and playing some good soccer and keeping the ball um, as much as we can. Coach, lastly, uh, you have a veteran squad for the most part. Do you, what do you expect from your juniors and seniors, especially the, the players who've been there before to postseason in terms of leading you into this year's Atlantic 10 tournament? Well, as we know, I mean, we've talked about it a couple weeks ago. Those players have stepped up. You know, in terms of uh, scoring goals, uh, making big saves, um, and, and again, I think those players always remember the stories that they heard from the seniors when they were younger. Uh, hey, this is what it's about. This is what we need to do, and everything. And so, you know, I think our upperclassmen, going back to the the, the first point that we made, is they're going to play um, for all the alumni, you know, that that, that have been through this program. Um, and I think we have a group that honors that. You know, they play not for themselves, um, not for the, the sake of winning. They play for the school and they play for the, the alumni. And that's dangerous because with the players that we have, uh, they're heart players. You know, they wear their heart on the sleeve. You can see it all the time in what they do. And I think this is the perfect stage for them to be able to show exactly not only what kind of soccer players they are, but what kind of soccer players bodies are um, in, in, in a very critical situation. And I think they're going to be the ones that, that carry this team through the tournament. Coach, good luck. Thank you very much. All right. Go bodies.